Welcome back to Orchid House. This is Olivier in Fort Lauderdale. And today I wanted to show you my Parafadinia Uri Kosh. It's a mouthful. Uh, to my knowledge, this is the only Parafadinia in existence. Uh, it's a primary hybrid, which means that the two parents are species, so plants that grow in the wild. Because many hybrids are hybrids of hybrids, this, is, this has two uh, species in the background. And uh, from very small genera, so Parafalenopsis labucensis, there's only four Parafalenopsis, and Sidenfadinia mitrata, which is a, a monotypic genus, so there's only one species in that group. So Parafalenopsis, Sidenfadinia, Parafadinia, hence the name. And uh, if you look at both plants, you'll see that this takes mostly after the Sidenfadinia mitrata. The flowers are small and have a similar color, a beautiful lip. Labucensis has much bigger flowers, much darker flowers. Also, Labucensis has very long pterid leaves. Uh, both parents have pterid leaves, like this, pencil-like. Uh, this one is short, or shorter, like uh, the Sidenfadinia. Uh, the fragrance is insane. It's like a rose, very, very pleasant, uh, sweet rose fragrance. So what uh, I believe that the, uh, the contribution to the from the Parafalenopsis labucensis is how floriferous it is. Sidon Fadinia mitrata blooms once a year around this time, whereas this one blooms year round, except for the winter. So for nine months long, you have uh, flowers, and as you can tell, it, it flowers a lot. So you have lots of flowers. And uh, Labucensis can flower several times a year, so I believe that's the main contribution of this plant. So, Uri Kosh is the name of a young uh, student judge here in South Florida. Uh, the cross was made by uh, Bob Fuchs from RF Orchids, whom I believe is a friend of his, and uh, so it was named after him. Name is a little complicated, tough to pronounce. It's from Hungarian descent, so hence Uri Kosh. So that's it. I love this. I mean, this this is. Uh, the maintenance is the same as a regular van, I would say. Uh, lots of water, plenty of light. I believe I may not give it enough water because you see there's dehydration at the tip of some of these uh, leaves. But it gets plenty of water as it is and my side in Fadinia is the same thing. So it might be uh, just the way this plant handles. If anybody knows something about this, please mention that in the comment section below. Wonderful plant to have, uh, like I said, this blooms practically nine months a year and the fragrance is fantastic. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.